Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a comedian making his network late night debut. Please welcome Gary Veter. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys seem like nice people. Uh, I'm a pretty nice person myself. I've never been in a fight before. My entire life, I haven't gotten any fights. I'm undefeated. <laughs> I came very close to getting in a fight recently. I was at a bar, it was very busy, and this guy walked right into me, stepped on my sneakers. So naturally, my reflexes kicked in. I apologized. <laughs> I said, sorry. He must not have heard what I said, because the next thing he did, he pushed me, rips off the shirt he had on, and he goes, what, you think you're hard? I was like, now I am. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a tough guy, but as a guy, you're supposed to be tough. I had this girl ask me, she goes, it's late at night, I live in a rough neighborhood. Do you mind walking me home? Sure, as long as you don't mind walking me home right after that. <laughs> what does she expect? I'm 5'6". This is it. This is my body. <laughs> there are not many options for short people. I saw a commercial for these things called Max Stalls. They're shoe inserts that make you three inches taller. And in the commercial, they show a guy who's five, six, talking to a girl. She wants nothing to do with him. Then in the next scene, they show what would have happened if he had Max Stalls. And what would have happened? She would have had sex with him. <laughs> That's quite the turn of events. <laughs> and that's it. That's the entire commercial. <laughs> They're like, it's smooth sailing from here. But I thought about it. It's not. Because once he gets her in bed, he's going to have to take off his Max Tolls. <laughs> and there's going to be an uncomfortable moment when she says to him, where are your legs? I'm married, I am. Been married for about a year. My wife told me, oh, thank you guys. <laughs> My wife told me she Googled signs your marriage is in trouble, yeah, which is a pretty big sign our marriage is in trouble. <laughs> it's tough being married. New rules pop up all the time. I'm pretty sure she makes it up as she's going along. The other night I got home at 11 o'clock, caused a fight because I told her I'd be back by 10. Yeah. So now I overestimate a little. Like before coming here, she was like, when are you coming back? I was like, February. <laughs> we watched football together the other weekend. During the game, my wife sees Tom Brady. And she goes, I don't find Tom Brady very attractive. My wife couldn't see the beauty in Tom Brady. <laughs> but she could see the beauty in me. It was at that moment I knew she could not be trusted. <laughs> we have a neighbor. He's not very bright. We had a blackout six weeks ago. My entire street lost power. During the blackout, he tweets on his iPhone, it's like the 1800s over here. I have no electricity. <laughs> He tweeted that <laughs> on his iPhone. <laughs> I feel like some of you are having a hard time following. <laughs> the only way it'd be like the 1800s is if I walked out of my apartment and a guy on a horse trotted up to me <laughs> and handed me a note that said, it's like the 1800s over here. <laughs> I have no electricity. <laughs> P.S. I think I have smallpox. <laughs> but yeah, that neighbor's not bright. He was in Denver not too long ago. Called me when he was there. He goes, Gary, I went to a marijuana dispensary. I bought 50 Sour Patch Kids with marijuana in them. But I'm flying back to New York tomorrow. 
you smoke a lot of pot, you fly a lot. Do you know how I get these past security? I was like, go to a convenience store, buy a box of regular Sour Patch Kids, transfer ones with marijuana in them into the regular one's box, and you'll have no problem. The next day he calls me, he goes, Gary, I'm back in New York with the Sour Patch Kids. Thanks for letting me know I could do that. And I was like, no. Thanks for letting me know I could do that. <laughs> That's it for me. Thank you, guys. You can see Gary regularly at the Comedy Cellar here in New York. Gary Meter, everybody. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.